Yo, how you guys doing? Apa kabar and selamat pagi. Rahajang Semang. Yes, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to stay longer in Bali. So, digital nomad around the world or those who want to retire in Bali but don't have all the documents required or those who have a long leave and wanna explore Indonesia so you need more than six months, I'll tell you how in this video. So, watch this video until the end. My name is Oki Misa. I'm your host in Bali. Yo, welcome to What's Up Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, how to stay in Bali, and the condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. So Bali getting crowded and crowded. Based on the media that I read that they said people visiting Bali increased 1,000 times. Wow! And not only for short stays tourists, based on my personal experience, I got more and more travelers asking for the b 2 a visa. Not just because their country is not on the list of countries that can get visa on arrival, but also citizen who is coming from country that can get visa on arrival. Like United States of America, France, India, the Netherlands, even Australia. You know why? Because they want to live again in Bali. So turn out most of them before the pandemic used to live in Bali. They used to live like 10 months or 11 months. Then they back to their countries for Christmas, meet their family, and then come back to Bali and stay in Bali again until next Christmas. And most of them are digital nomads. All they need is a comfy place to live, a good Wi-Fi, and their scooter to explore Bali. Wait, 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 okay. How they do that? Isn't it B211 and Visa maximum can stay only 180 days? So they have a kitas? Which kitas? How digital nomad can stay long in Bali? How people can get retired in Bali without having retirement kitas? Well, they cannot get working kitas because they're not working in any company in Bali. And they cannot get retirement kitas because their age is not over 56 years old yet. And they cannot get spouse kitas because they're single. And they cannot get investment kitas because they don't have a plan to open up a business in Bali. Which gonna cost you around 70,000 US dollars to open up. So the only solution for them, the digital nomad, or anybody want to stay long in Bali without having trouble must to prepare some document, you know. What I'm suggesting them is to apply the B211A visa. Yes, I call it the most powerful visa because which is the only visa which already exists during the pandemic. Back then people use this visa, fly to Jakarta and go to Bali with domestic flight because back then Bali International Airport is not open yet. But this visa is already served. So now what this B211A visa can offer? How can people using this visa can stay more than six months? Let's say they only want to go back to their country once a year like for Christmas. Then stay in Bali again. And what I'm going to tell you, it works for every country on earth. But remember, to do this, you have to come to Bali, you have to come to Indonesia with the B211 visa from beginning. So you cannot come to Bali with the visa on arrival and then switching later. That's not possible. So you have to use this B211 visa start from the beginning when you're entering Bali. Otherwise, you cannot. Okay, let's get down with it. First, you apply the B211 visa from your country, from any country that you live. But please make sure your passport still valid for at least six months and you're already more than 14 days from your last vaccine. My price to get this visa is about 250 US dollars per person. Okay, isn't it the visa fee for staying 60 days only 140 US dollars? What the extra 110 US dollars for? Well, send me email. Let me break it down for you. However, I give you the link down in description for you who want to apply yourself to the immigration website. So you only need to pay 140 US dollars to stay 60 days instead of paying 250 US dollars to me. Anyway, let's continue. When you got your visa sent by email, you have 90 days to use it. So make sure you fly within 90 days. Otherwise, the the visa will expire and then when you arrive in Bali you can stay for 60 days and with this visa you can open up a local bank in the Permata Bank remember Permata Bank only that bank not other bank but only using your passport and later about 10 days before your first 60 days expired you need to extend your visa for another 60 days it's gonna cost you around 204 US dollars but remember you cannot change your agent to extend this visa because your visa agency is your sponsor then again about 10 days before your second 60 days expired you ask your agent again to extend it for another 60 days and again it's gonna cost you 204 US dollars more or less and there you go that is your first 180 days staying in Bali in Indonesia let's say your first six months your first B211 visa that you apply six months ago in your country now what happened do you need to fly out Indonesia no you don't so before your first 180 days expired ask your agent to apply onshore the B211 visa for you it's gonna cost you around 215 US dollars so a bit cheaper than you apply first time in your 
your country. Then you're gonna get your first 60 days from your second B211 visa. Then about 10 days again before it's expired, you extend again for another 60 days. And again, and again, and again. And that's it. That's how you stay longer in Bali with the B211 A visa. That's how you stay more than six months in Bali. And of course, with this visa, you can go explore Indonesia. You don't need to stay always in Bali. You can visit Borobudur. You can stay in Jogja for a month, for example. You go to Jakarta. You can go to Sumatra. You can visit Raja Ampat in Papua and another amazing place in Indonesia. But remember, you must to come back to Bali when you're gonna extend your visa. You know why? Because we need your passport and you need to go to immigration to get photo. So there you go. Oh, isn't it too bright? Wait. It's better now, huh? Where's the focus? 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 Oh, okay. So where are we? Oh, there you go. So if you're a digital nomad, you want to stay long in Bali, that's the way. Oh, I almost forgot. If you are a digital nomad, below in the description, I mentioned an American health insurance, an American travel health insurance called Safety Wings that especially made for digital nomad. Check them out. Click the link below. And while we are talking about how to stay long in Bali, let me tell you. No, I have one year package to stay in my place, at Taman Sakti Resort in Ubud. You stay 12 months but only need to pay 10 months. Room and apartment available start from January 1st, 2023. Then again, it's limited because I only have a seven room. Start only from 2,000 US dollars for the apartment, 2,750 for the deluxe, and 3,550 for the suite. That to stay one year. And that's already included water, electricity, unlimited mineral water, gas for your stove, room clean once a week, and my place is very suitable for digital nomads or those who stay long in Bali. You know why? Because we have a simple kitchen in every room and the Wi-Fi is fast. Have swimming pool which covered also by Wi-Fi so you can work by the swimming pool if you're bored working in your room. And we have big packing space so when you check in with all your bags, no problem. And you know Ubud is kind of in the middle. So what always happens is with my guests, they stay in Ubud because it's not too noisy and it can work. Then during the weekend, they sleep out too. To Changu, they sleep out to Ahmed, they go to Nusa Penida, but then after the weekend they come back here, they still live in Ubud. Well, send me email for details. Start from 2000 US dollars on. So there you go. That's how you stay longer than 60 days. That's how you stay longer than six months. So digital nomad around the world, people want to retire in Bali, but lazy to prepare all the document needed now you know how so grab your bag grab your laptop Bali is waiting that's all from now share this video hit the subscribe button for those who haven't smash the notification bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to Bali how to stay in Bali and condition Bali now my name is Hokimisa I'm your host in Bali see you in the island of God stay safe